These alarms look quite expensive. Yes, but uh, look how easy it is to force entry into your place of dwelling here. The window is open. We always close it before we leave. Okay, okay, yes, yes. But the thing is, Dr. Fish, whether you go ahead and order one of our forced entry motion detecting security systems or not, ask yourself this. Um, what, what, ah, yeah, what value do you put on knowing that when you leave the house, that's it, that your possessions are safe and secure? Well, not £2,500. <laughs> Look, I'm just not sure how stuff is. Take the furniture and the bed as well. It's not been unknown to happen. Is that what I mean? No, of course not. It's a double negative, isn't it? It's not been known. Uh, it's been known to happen. That thing you said about beds a minute ago. Anyway, the SD300 has a 360-degree bitonal swirl siren. It sounds like this. Uh, what about this one down at the bottom? Oh, the SD1. Oh, you don't want to go for that one. What's the matter with it? Nothing, nothing. It's a very good alarm. Well, why don't I have the SD1 at £800 rather than the SD300 for £2,500? Um, it's, uh... So, are you interested in, in either of them? Oh, I don't know. It's still a lot of money. Ah, OK. Ah, ah right. I, I want to show you something. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oi, oi, stop! Stop! Stop that! Will you stop that? But, but you see my point? Well, no. The thing is, Dr Fish... Whew, and um, ultimately, what value do you put on knowing that when you leave the ha house... You've done that bit. Woo! 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 And that. Uh, movement detector laser beams, like in Star Wars. Yes. Right. Close the sail. Close the sail. Um... <sighs> Would you like to buy a burglar alarm? I might. Really? You're serious? I'll think about it. Oh, OK. Not now. I'll have to go to work now. I I'll let you know. Oh, sorry. <laughs> anyway, that's my card there. It's it's a home number, so you can ring any time. Um, I live on my own, so you, you won't be disturbing any, uh, yeah, whatever. Um, but um, any time, any time is fine. Uh, I'm, I'm not sleeping very well at the moment, so, you know. Sorry, can, can I just ask, when you said you uh, might buy the SD1, was that like you might, or you might... Uh, the second one. Okay. Uh, bye then. Yes! Quick wee. I'll see you tonight. Mm. What are you doing? Uh, nothing. You're waiting for that woman next door to leave again, aren't you? Well, I can't stand it. I say good morning and she, she doesn't say anything back. She just looks at me. It's depressing. Well, it's not you. It's just people around here. They're all paranoid. They want to lock themselves away in their protective little boxes. And if you say hello to her husband, he just grunts. Yeah. They've been like that since we went in for a cup of tea when they first moved in. Yeah, and that was ten years ago. You'll, uh, you want to redo this room, eh? <laughs> I mean, our, our place was bad when we first moved in, but whoa, you got a job on your hands here, all right. <laughs> it's funny, isn't it, eh? What, what kind of people choose wallpaper like that? Makes you feel a bit sick. <laughs> <laughs> the only time I really remember talking to any neighbours was that incident in 1992 at that place up on the corner. Mm, it was like a big street party. How long's she been in there like that? Well, I noticed the milk bottles mounting up a while ago, but I thought someone would be dealing with it. It's better than being dragged to the ground and eaten by jackals. Well, I've, I've counted 81 bottles. So with a delivery of one bottle a day, six days a week, that would be 13 weeks and two days. Do you know, in the dry season, they can go for over a month without any water. We, uh, we had a loft conversion last year, and 
Now we need to convert it again. It uh, just isn't big enough. We're going to add a roof terrace too. Oh, I did a roof terrace last year. This year we're doing a little bit of exposed brick in the kitchen and getting an agar installed. We'll keep the old cooker for actually cooking on. We knocked the lounge and the dining room together. Big open plan thing. Didn't like it. Put the walls back up. It's much cosier now. They have an unfair reputation as scavengers, but they're very skilled hunters. Each pack is an alpha male who's effectively in charge. Technically, it runs off the boiler, but it's a power shower, so it gives you 15 extra feet of head to stay. The pressure almost on the Oh, I, I think it's safe to go out now. Two shoe saleswomen who've been refusing to serve male customers in protest at a merger between their department and the men's section are to take their case to the European Court of Human Rights. Denise Calloway and Maureen Hopkins. <laughs> Bob! He's getting the knife out of me! Just checking the locks. Uh, uh. Oh, look, it's, it's an open invitation. I don't want one of those big lights that comes on when people approach the house. Well, not until we have the window frames repainted, anyway. No, we can just get an alarm with a, a bitonal swell siren. <laughs> that, that's how it goes. OK, we'll get an alarm. Just stop frightening me. New neighbours. I wonder if they'll be friendly. Hmm. Do you think we should invite them in for tea? Oh, I don't know. What if they end up ignoring us like everybody else around here? Maybe we should let them settle in first. They might be homesick. Remember what I was like when we moved here? Oi! And we'd only come two miles. Yes. Let's be impulsive for once. OK. I'll just throw something a bit nicer on. <laughs> hmm. I think I've got a bit of egg on this jumper. <laughs> Hello there. Hmm. Yes. Right. Should we go for it? I'm not sure. I mean, maybe this is silly. No, we should do it now. Hello? Oh, uh, hello. Sorry to bother you. You must have so much to get on with and... Uh... Jehovah's Witnesses, right? Look, um... We're a bit tied up at the moment. Here's 20 bucks. Hmm? I imagine you can get a change somewhere. Who's that at the door, honey? Oh, nobody. We're actually from next door. We just came to sort of say hello. Neighbors? That's wonderful. We heard you British were so cold and unfriendly. Hmm? I I'm Bob, and, and this is... Margaret. Anyway, uh, I know you Margaret! <laughs> it's so nice to meet you. Come on in. I'm Larry Lubinsky, Miami Beach. This is my wife, Kitty, from Quebec. Hey, Chip, Peaches, we got natives. Say hello to the Britishers. Hello. <laughs> it is very blooming charming to meet you. Uh, <laughs> uh, kid's working on an English accent. <laughs> uh, drink? Uh, yes, please. <laughs> oh, you must meet Pickles. Where is she? Pickles! Where the hell is that dog? Pickles! Can I have a can of soda pop? Pickles! Pickles! Can I have a can of soda pop? Pickles! 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 Oh, come to mommy! Oh, my pretty shoe! Come here! Can I please have a can of soda pop? Uh, <laughs> she doesn't quite remember me yet. She's been in quarantine. We sent her ahead. Really? So she'd have been here for six months? Well, no. See, uh, we had a, a little complication. <laughs> uh, we were originally meant to come over here before now, right? So uh, off flies the pooch to Britain. Then, at the last minute, his head office calls. <laughs> they want to totally reorganize the management structure. They got to put back the trip. Oh, OK. So there's no point flying poor Pickles home just to go straight back into quarantine again. Mom. Yeah, and so the trip gets delayed again and again and again until finally, well, <laughs> here we are. So how long was she, uh... Just under three years. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, no offense, but your system here is just barbaric. Can I please have a can of soda pop? No, 
Why don't you go and sit down in the lounge while I fix you folks a little snack? 